This is the 2018 Math Kangaroo Levels 9 and 10, Problem Number 21. Several integers are written on a blackboard, including the number 2018. The sum of all of these integers is 2018. The product of these integers is also 2018. Which of the following could be the number of integers written on the blackboard? A. 2016 B. 2017 C. 2018 D. 2019 or E. 2020 Since the product of these numbers is 2018 and 2018 is one of those numbers, the other numbers must be negative 1 and 1 in order for them to have a product of 2018. We need to figure out how many negative ones we have and how many ones we have. So we know that there's a certain amount of negative ones. We don't know how many. A certain amount of ones. And then 2018. Because the product is 2018, there must be an even number of negative ones in order for it to have a positive product. Let's mark this even number of negative ones as being 2x. Because the sum is 2018, the number of ones must be equal to the number of negative ones so they could cancel out. This means that the number of ones must also be equal to 2x. Meaning that, in total, the number of negative ones plus the number of ones must be equal to 4x. Since the question is asking for the number of integers written on the blackboard, we can find this number out by stating that 4x, which is the number of ones and negative ones, plus one number, which is 2018, must be equal to one of these answer choices. We can also do this problem by stating that one of these answer choices, minus 1, when divisible by, when divided, sorry, by 4, gives an integer. The rule for 4 is that if the last two digits of that number are divisible by 4, then the entire number is divisible by 4. Doing this, we can see that if we have 2017 integers, subtract 1 on both sides, 4x equals 2016. And 2016 is a number where the last two numbers are divisible by 4, meaning that the entire number is divisible by 4. This means that answer choice B is correct. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe, like, and comment.